Mm. Good morning. Um. feel well and and that's like I've kind of decided that feeling well doesn't mean that I don't keep up with my um, commitments to myself it just means that I'm a little bit more gentle with myself or you know something along those lines um, the commitment that I'm doing right now is for me to feel better um, so Giving up this kind of commitment is like, for me, the wrong kind of commitment to give up, right? So me, even a month ago, help probably even five days ago, six days ago, the commitment that I would give up when I don't feel well would have been this. And, and I would have continued to do the laundry, right? Like. Instead, if I had, God, I have, can't remember. Oh my gosh, I used to go by this when I was going through chemo. Oh my gosh, if I had 10 coins, I just remember the, if I had 10 coins, and that's all the coins that I had to spend all day, where would I spend my coins? Like, what would, what would a coin cost? Um, so this, this morning is like probably, it's probably two, two coins. So it means the rest of the day I have eight coins and there's a lot of the day left. It's six of three, you know? So I only have eight coins left. I choose, I choose to spend two of those here and then uh, I'm not a huge reader what do you have on your foot come here come here come here no 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 we get it off there you go it's done it's off I'm not a huge reader, um, like as in, I don't sit down and read um, like an entire book. I um, I have a really hard time with that, um, my ADD, the whole, which some people don't even believe in it, it, it whatever. And my attention span is very short. Um, and, I can read lots of books at the same time, but in short spurts. Uh, I, I can do a chapter, I can do a half chapter, I can, um, but I will remember just about everything in that short thing, the whatever I, re I read. If you ask me to read a long thing, it, it ain't happening. I, I'm, I'm not gonna remember a damn thing out of it. So there was a while ago, there was a couple people in my life that had told me to read Deepak Chopra's um, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Now, um, to me, this is Peter, by the way, um, the dog that eats humans. Um, if, um, if you, well, even like me saying that aloud to you, uh, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, I would... I would think, why would I read that? Because then, or tell anybody that you were that I was reading it. Because you would think that I was about money. That I wanted money in my life. So why would I? Don't I want that reverse thing? Like I want to pretend that I don't want to have money in my life in order to be so humble that means that I will have money in my life or some convoluted idea of all of that and um, and I had to redefine it's just been lately of what my idea of success is right and um, 
uh, the success I made this morning was remembering about the 10 coins, right? So that's success. Really has nothing to do with money. But in our, our, and it's our, or maybe it's just my world, but I have a feeling that it's our society where it's all about the Benjamins, all about fame, fortune, what I have, what you don't, um, one upping another. Um, uh, that's where I stop. And I'm just so over it. This morning, um, we're going to do some grieving, obviously. I, I'll probably overshare it. But today will be, um, in my own personal life, a day, a, a, you know, an eight coin day, because I've already used two. And, um, and some of those coins will be a little bit of storytelling. Um, because I, I need, I need to tell some stories. I've got some, um, some right now that I need to, to get out. And one of them comes from this book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, Deepak Chopra. And he's got, a, I don't even know how the man has all the time to be able to write all the literature that he has written. Um, and you know what? I don't even like all of it. Okay, great. Um, but the pieces that I like, obviously I like, um, now I am going to tell you, I wanted to actually read to you this morning, the giving tree, and I'm having a little bit of a panic attack because I can't find my copy. I hold books in four book bookshelves around the house and, and I can't find it anywhere. And, um, I, mine, mine happens to be a signed copy, um, I collect a lot of little different things, and one of them is signed books. <laughs> so, I'm like, that book has got to be in the house somewhere. And one little child liked to rip the page out of it. So, at one point, little assholes. All right, so shoulders down and back, sitting in a nice, comfortable position not overthinking it. You'll notice the more that you sit on the floor, the more comfortable you'll be on the floor. The less you sit on the floor, the less comfortable you will be on the floor. Um, my own personal house, I have um, at any given time, one of us is always sitting um, on the floor. Like we just, that's how our house is set up. Um, we have a four-person couch, and two of us sit on the couch, and one sits on the floor. Um, we all just kind of take turns. Are you going to breathe with this? Is he, are you going to have a hard time here? All right. Close down the eyes. Shut the breath. Flow in and out judgment. Maybe you're breathing through the mouth right now. Maybe through the nose. Maybe you can't even locate where you're breathing from. Who cares, right? Just to try to acknowledge it. Maybe it's thinking about the rise and fall of the chest. Oh my god, I just realized I have a microphone. Fuck! Okay, rise and fall of the chest. Oh. Well, that just decided which one of these recordings that I'm going to be going on uh, the things, doesn't it? Let's try that again. I'm sure it's 
quite nice to actually have a human speaking in front of you that's not crying. <sighs> okay. So the rise and fall of the chest. We're going to do our Anapana breathing. We're noticing right underneath the nose right above the upper lip. It's almost like a little whirlwind of energy that happens there. If you really, really pay attention to it, 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 it almost, you can see the circular pattern of the breath. It's like the Bermuda Triangle, right? Where there's never a dull moment that happens there. start to wonder, the brain starts to think about this and that, how long is Kate going to make us, you know, do this, why, you know, I've got other stuff to do, she's running late, like all of that, come, come back, just come back to the mat, there is no judgment there, just breathe in, and let it back out. Try not to count. Try to just let the body take care of itself. What does it need? Does it need shorter breaths? Does it need longer breaths? Only focus is that little, little wave that happens right below the nose and above the lip. Let's let your fingers hover right above the spot. Notice the sensation. I, I feel the sensation more when I'm exhaling through the nose. I can feel the heat on the top of my fingers. As I breathe in, I can feel them almost the nails pulling towards my nostrils. Right? And so eventually we can take down the, the tool, the, the extra helper bee. Um, we find it ourselves, or maybe we can go to the little pursed lips where you're making the area from the lip to the nose a little shorter that might help so some of you at this point um, we've been doing it for six days now you're noticing that we sit here for you know 30 minutes in your body by the end of the 30 minutes now we've been doing a little bit of movement with it um which is is great right we're going to get to more movement with this anyway but sometimes we're just sitting here and you'll notice your body is wanting to move it desperately something aches something hurts keep breathing inhale And exhale. When that starts to come up for you, try not to move. I know that sounds insane. It sounds like why would you want your body to be in pain? I don't. I don't want your body to be in pain. I want you to recognize the pain ends. Pain comes 
begins and it goes. Law of nature, everything changes. Go back to the breath, right underneath the nose. two final breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. What do you feel? are closed open them just a little bit swing your legs towards the right and then allow yourself to lie back onto the ground now more than anything more on the ground because i'm not feeling too hot all right feet are flat or happy place whatever that is for you uh, sometimes our happy place is legs straight I've got a girlfriend that loves to put her arms up overhead and that I cannot do that. I, I used to sleep like that for a long time. I don't do that anymore either. So let's go back to our Anapana breathing here. Inhale. as you can. Inhale. Come back up and through. Exhale. Lower the knees down over to the left. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six. Belly's in. Inhale. Knees up, all the way up, 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 up. Exhale, lowering down, 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 down. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. up. 
exhale, start to lower the knees down, 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 over, over. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, belly's in, you save your lower back. Lift the knees all the way up. Why don't you get to the center now? You'll start exhaling, exhale, 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 exhale. Hold over to the right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Lift the knees up, up, up. Loins to the center. Exhale. Lower them down, down, down. Your belly's still in. And hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, come back up, and stay right here. Maybe give your hips a little wiggle wherever you are, happy place. Prana prana breathing, inhale. And exhale. Take your little handies. Take your thumbs on top of your ears. Whew. On top of your ears. Press the little, the little nubs down. I want you to take your right leg up to the sky, left leg up to the sky. That's right, my knees are not straight. If I'm gonna head for middle butt, there's no way I am tight as a rubber band, okay? So this would be more of having an arch in my back, okay? More, I would, I would call it lower butt. If I lifted my legs all the way up to the sky like this, I would be an upper butt. But if I have them somewhere in the middle here, this is more middle butt, I have more control. They're not in a straight line. You guys have probably seen videos of me with perfectly straight legs, straight up to the sky. I'm in middle butt. That is not where my body is today. This is it. Yep. And so legs are up, heels are pressing out from the body. Press down with your ears, with the fingers. Remember your little ring fingers are going to come into your nose. Take an inhale and then make your buzzing sound. Inhale, lower just the right leg down. Exhale. Gently 
gonna take both legs up to the sky, under your ears, wrap your arms around your knees, big hug. To your on the corner breathing down through the nose. Place the feet back down onto the mat. Find your happy place. And once again, you might notice the lower left back is a little bit more flexible. Maybe not. Um, maybe it relaxes a little easier in your happy place. It takes a moment. And gently roll to one side, whichever side that is. Once again, I'm always saying the yogis of the world make things really complicated. Really complicated. I'm not saying that there's not a purpose or why things are the way they are, but sometimes, guess what? It's either just more convenient or it feels right. I'm just gonna give you an example. Like I made this hematite necklace. It was gorgeous. Like, I don't know, 20 years ago. I've kept it all these years. Whenever hematite's supposed to be really good for Lots of different things. Just never, I really liked it, but I kept it. Found it in my drawer the other day, yesterday actually. I was like, gosh, I think Carter really likes hematite. Picked it up, took it in my drawer. Okay, just look around this if you want. And slowly using your driver hand, might be the one on top. Gently push yourself up to seated and into crisscross applesauce. Now I notice I always put my right leg in front. So I'm gonna switch those suckers and put my left leg in front. And I also don't do the thing where you like tuck your feet underneath you anymore. I don't know when that started, but I definitely um, just let my legs kind of flay out to the sides. I'm gonna do a little bit of a mudra here. So um, left hand on the bottom, right hand on top. When your thumbs come together, almost like you're you're, you're, you're pinching the two together, but um, there's a couple different ways. You can pinch the two together flat, 
or it can be the tops of your thumbs pressing together. There's just gonna be different schools of thought on that one. I'm gonna do the pressing the tips together. And I'm gonna take these guys and kind of um, push them more towards my groin, um, right where I would say the karate chop of my hip goes. Kind of burrow in there and then attempt to lean forward a bit. Now what I'm basically telling myself right now is that I'm whole. And this is a battery. We in and of ourselves are worthy, are divine, creative. Please do not hear me say that this is meaning that I am the center of the universe. There is always need, want, and desire for outside energy force. What I'm saying is that I do not need you to make me whole. Going back to your Anapana breathing, inhale through the nose. Gently roll the shoulders down and back. You might have noticed that was quite a bit of energy going through your body. So I always like to kind of shake that guy out. Get myself a little back and forth, maybe a neck roll. Some of you might not have felt that at all. Right? We um, started to talk about it a little bit on uh, the Facebooks. I'm talking about the somatic system. They all feel um, different parts of our body um, differently. Of course, we're different human beings, duh. Um, but fingers, um, tongues, um, I'm a big tongue person. I'm taking tons of antibiotics right now. And so I, I have cold sore, I mean, not cold sores, but I have um, canker sores on the inside of my mouth, right? Like it immediately goes to that kind of stuff for me. If I stay out in the sun too long, I'll get cold sores. If I, um, I mean, like there's, I just, I'm a feeler, I'm an empath. Um, so my fingers take up a lot. Um, they go numb a lot. Um, my feet, I'm always kicking things. I'm always, uh, there's something always going on with my feet. Um, elbows, not so much. Right, I I start to think about those kinds of things. Like where where do you feel the most? Um, I kind of go by like what hurts a lot. Like God, I I scratch my hand again or whatever. Right, or where you just like don't even like oh yeah I've got a cut on my arm eh, whatever. Um, it's interesting. Um, okay, three beautiful breaths together here. Thumbs. Come to the nose, that's typically where I like to start. You can start wherever you would like, middle of your body somewhere, inhale. And exhale. Let the heat out, inhale through the nose. Exhale. Last one. Exhale, definitely the light living inside of me loves the light that lives inside of you. Namaste, my friends. <laughs>